So it's getting kind of late and we're making final preparations for our trip tomorrow. As many of you know, my wife and I bought Hornbacks last year. They're lightweight solo canoes. And one of the big reasons I wanted a Hornback was so I could hike back into backcountry ponds and go to places that most people don't go to. And for me personally, I wanted to be able to find backwoods brook trout ponds. So my wife and I are heading a little bit north and into the Adirondacks tomorrow to do our first hiking trip with our Rhinebacks. We haven't done this kind of thing before, so we spent a bit of time tonight figuring out how we were going to rig these boats and how we were going to carry these boats and how we were going to bring everything in. I'm probably packing too much. I think we've selected a pretty good pond for our first one. It's about a 1.3 mile hike in. It looks to be fairly easy. There's not a lot of elevation change, but it looks like we might have to contend with some beaver ponds. So, yeah, I think this is the way we need to it. You ready? So it might be interesting, but we're definitely looking forward to it. And all I know is, I'm going to love it. Boat carrying guns. <laughs> They're tired. So, how hard was that? <laughs> It was tricky at times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we made it here. I think we were happy to make it. The last half mile went a little bit faster. We uh, changed the way we were carrying a little bit, but anyway, we are here. Nice little pond in the Adirondacks. Gonna get set up, get in the water, see if we can get some. I'm definitely marking fish down there. Said so I definitely seem like I'm marking fish. Dude, feels nice. Wow. Feels nice. Ha <laughs> ha. My first fish. 
I did not get skunked. Good little fighter, holy crap. So casting lures in the shallows apparently is the way to go. I just lost one. He hit right at the boat. Oh good, you came right off. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're heading out of here. We, we had several hours on, uh, on the pond today. What an absolutely beautiful day. Abs just for the most part calm, sunny. Uh, we definitely found a bunch of fish. Uh, I, I don't even know how many hits I had. I had 15 to 20 hits, landed maybe five or so. But uh, that wasn't the main purpose today anyway. Today's purpose was to get out, enjoy the day, explore, use the hornback in the way that we uh, intended. And we definitely did that today. So we didn't see another soul all day. Totally happy with today. We have a long trek out of here. So Mrs. White Dog and I are saying goodbye for now. We'll see you guys on the next one. You gonna carry it? That was a nice soft landing and everything. Doing awesome. We should just paddle this straight across to where we got to go. If you break your paddle in half, I'll take half. I think you can. Totally think you can. You're going to lay back and you're going to just use that brush and push right through it. Do it up. Ooh, that's a seriously high log. Wow, that's not good. 
I'm getting it. I'm free. How cool is this, dude? Doesn't the trail go way up there? Remember when I paddled, when I walked down to it? Should we just paddle way up? I'm almost positive this is where I was. That was a sweet detour. That's, that's called winning right there. That's called winning. That is how you do it. I'm pretty sure the trail's right here. So that was totally awesome. We just skipped the hardest part of the trail. It took us, I don't know, half an hour to get through it the first time. We just paddled the beaver dam the whole way up and the trail's right here. That was so freaking awesome. I cut like 20 minutes and a lot of hassle off our trip. Everybody, thanks. Stay in the shot. Sorry. <laughs> Got your good angle? Does your face look okay? Sure. That's going in the edit. <laughs>